creating a key for Google Translate API. The first step is to create an account at Google Cloud Platform. And after creating the account at Google Cloud Platform, you have to click the menu button to access the API and services section in the Google Cloud console. And in the API and services section, you can find the library of available APIs. Search for the Google Translate API and enable it. Now, after you have enabled the API, in the same API and services section, you have to go to the credentials section and click create credentials. Select API key and it will generate an API key for you. I will demonstrate the procedure step by step for you. Just search cloud Google Cloud Platform on Google. When you make a search regarding Google Cloud Platform, then you can find the first search result here saying Google Cloud including GCP and G Suite. Try free. Just click that link and you will be landing over a page like this. And here you'll get information regarding the Google Cloud Platform and even the G Suite. And here you click this button saying try GCP free. When you click that, it will open a new link where you have to sign up and create an account for a Google Cloud Platform. First of all, you have to select your country. After that, if you want to get the email updates from Google Cloud Platform, then click yes and agree the Google Cloud Platform free trial terms of service. So as a new member, you will get $300 credit for free and it can be spent over the next 12 months. After you have signed up, and then over the next 12 months, you can make use of this $300. And even after that, after the free trial ends, auto charge will not be enabled for your account unless and until you accept it. So, after agreeing this terms of service, you can click this button saying agree and continue. And in the next page, first of all, you have to select the account type. As I am an individual, I will select the option saying individual from the drop down and after that it they asked me to add the tax information and as I'm an unregistered individual I will select this one and according to my country I have to add the PAN account number or TAN account number and even this is optional because I'm an unregistered individual and after that I have to add my name, address and more. I have to select how I want to pay, whether monthly automatic payments or any other option if available. And finally I have to add the card details and after adding the card details and verifying it, I have to start my free trial. And after you have created an account on Google Cloud Platform, you will be landing over a page like this. Click this menu bar or you can also say it as a navigation menu. When you click that, the third option is APIs and services. And even in this one, there are about three options available. The first one is the dashboard where you can see the information regarding the different APIs that you have enabled. In the library section, you can search the different APIs of Google. And at the end, there are the credentials that may include that include the API keys that you have created. So first of all, go to the library section and in the search bar, search saying Google Translate API. There are about two options available here. Select the first one, Google Translate API. And the button for enabling it is available. Here we don't want the auto email translation model. Rather, we want the NMT model. So this is the neural translation model online. There's just select that one. 
And here you can see the pricing. The pricing is $1.20 per 1 million characters. So after selecting that one, click this button saying enable. When you click that, it will open the API dashboard. And this is the dashboard of API and services section. And on the left hand side, you can again access the library and also move to the credentials section within the APIs and services section. Just click credentials. And right now, there are no credentials created. And hence, this uh, option saying create credentials is being displayed. So I will click this one and I will select the first option saying API key. And it will create an API key for me. This is the API key. So whenever if you want to access the API key that you have created, you have to come to the APIs and services section. And under that, you have to move to the credentials section. I will just click on close. And this is the API key. You can anytime come here and copy it. You can delete the API key. Also, you can click the edit button. And when you click the edit button, you can rename your API key. I will name it as translate app. You can restrict the API to be used whether by HTTP refers only or whether by Android apps only. If you select this one saying Android apps, it will ask you to add the package name and fingerprint. We will not dive deep into this concept right now. But right now, as we are just testing, select it as none. Talking about the API restriction, this same API can be used to work with the different APIs apart from Google Translate API. And you can also make use of the Google Vision API or some other APIs. And in order to restrict your API key, for a particular API service only, you have to select the API. And here we have only the Google Translation API enabled. And among those APIs, select any one of the API which can be used with this particular API key. And after selecting it, I will click on save. And hence we have restricted our API key to be usable only with the Google Translate API service.